I tell my kids the same thing that I tell myself and the same things that I'll tell you. Um, in order to uh, achieve a goal in life, uh, you must first clearly define exactly what it is you want, um, exactly what that goal is, and then um, become an expert in that field. Study other people who've done what you want to do. Uh, learn all that you can learn about the field. And then um, devise a plan uh, to go from point A to point B. And most importantly, in achieving any goal, there comes that moment where you have to start. You've got to take that first step. But once you take that first step, then you've given that dream life. Once you start, just never give up until you get where you want to go. I think I read about those Reeboks that I wore in the video. Um, it's interesting. I know uh, back on our farm, uh, there's a place where the kids used to play all the time in the creek and uh, one time I hung up or they hung a pair of my Reeboks on a tree back there and it, it's still hanging it in, up, up in the tree. As far as the uh, ones I wore in the video, um, it's hard telling. I'm guessing they've, they, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know where those shoes are at, uh, but I bet they have a story to tell. I like playing everywhere around the world. I really do. Um, luckily I had friends around me in, uh, in the early 90s that uh, guys like Carl Perkins and Waylon Jennings and Dolly Parton, entertainers that their music had gone global and they encouraged me at the time to uh, tour the world, you know, not just tour the United States. And um, I, I thought that to be very exciting, you know, to have that type of record that uh, would allow an old boy from Kentucky to go all around the world and sing his songs and, and entertain folks. and. Uh, so to this day, I use that same philosophy. I love to play the world. E every day working with Miley on the set of Hannah Montana, every day was an adventure in some ways, you know. For me as a daddy, be able to see my little girl uh, grow artistically, knowing that that was her dream and that that was her, uh, her way of touching people's lives. And um, seeing her grow as a young girl to a young lady, uh, knowing that it wasn't just the show, it was our lives that was playing out in front of the world. Being there and being a part of it, being able to be her friend and her daddy and one of her co-workers, you know, uh, going through that uh, together. Uh, you may know the song I wrote, Ready, Set, Don't Go. There was so much of that that was based on the realism of our real lives, of knowing that I was watching my little girl uh, grow up and for every daddy you know there's that moment where you want to say spread your wings and fly and and you know it's it's time to leave the nest and you think you're ready but at that last moment you you just want to hold on for one last hug oh 90210 was a lot of fun they got a a great cast just a lot of really good people uh great crew um and i got to be a little bit of a you know a character uh, for me to, you know, be someone uh, completely different than than my real life self was a lot of fun. Based on the fact that this is the most important election in our country's history, I think educating yourself on everything that's going on in the world, learn everything you can learn about what's going on in our country. Uh, knowledge is power. Learn everything you can learn about the candidates. Vote your conscience. Vote, vote for the person that you believe, you know, will best lead this country in a successful direction. It's certainly not my job to tell people who to vote for, and I'll never do that. But what I will say is this. This is a really great time and a great opportunity for America to become the United States of America. There's so many things in our politics and in our country and in our world that are trying to divide us and we need to come together as a nation. We need to embrace our veterans and make sure that every day that they know we are grateful and thankful for their service, for their sacrifice. We need to become the United States of America again. 
and we can do it.